Hello there fellow humans and after 17 pop-up windows I finally arrived at the starting screen to a new shop review. So late night lotto event still ongoing, the draws on the 25th anniversary event, the DTH could be worth it theoretically. Now then we have this event right here where you can buy a crafting kit, crafting kit pro to go all the way to the end with some rewards even though after the Karo, there isn't really anything worth getting anymore at that point. The Karo itself isn't even worth getting at all. It's just a worse Progetto, so not really much going on there. But if you can fill the event as far as you can for free, I would highly recommend that. And we also have the K2 in here, which is somewhat similar to the uh, 1122. Uh, plays quite similar to that, so if you have that vehicle ready, you're not really missing anything out. Obviously, then there's still the Battle Pass, which can be worth it. They used to be a bit better, but the battle passes are still worth it if you can fill them all the way to level 60 and also fill up all the vaults. Then it's well worth your money. You're going to get pretty much the best bang for your buck in the game if you do play the battle passes all the way to the end. And uh, the opposite of that is what you get here. Now, the SD62 is uh, in-game. It's a medium tank. I mean, it has 185 millimeters of penetration in 2024. It's already great. It's one of those vehicles that... It's there. It's not worth buying. And, um, yeah, there's camouflages in a draw now. I don't, I don't think I have to tell you that 550 gold for a camouflage draw is a bit obscene. And then we have French containers. I mean, they're, they're French. And then there's an unprecedented offer. If you get it, 350 for 3k gold. There are worse deals out there. It could be worth it in this personal offer. And with that, we go into... The regular shop. No transitions this time. So, here's the thing. We got, again, these event offers up here. Lottery machine, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it's just gambling. This is world of gambling now, basically. So, nothing really great in there. Just like uh, sandbox containers. I mean, they include a sandbox, a tier 2 to tier 4 vehicle. You will now be able to purchase a tank. But you're probably going to have to wait five minutes in the queue. That is truly wonderful, sarcastically. But what isn't sarcastically wonderful, but is pretty good, is these gold boxes. Fill the duck and uh, buy it. It's one of the better ways to obtain gold. Obviously, uh, having the double gold offers still available down here are going to be great as well. But these uh, duck boxes or Christ Christmas boxes are going to be pretty good. Alpha Predator, I mean, this is all just gambling. The Kari is a waste of space at this point. Now we're going to go into the resources, which include credits. So we're just going to keep scrolling right there. Unless you need the times fives, then you could buy them if you really want to grind new tech trees quickly. And now we get into the meat, the sauce, the absolute most important art. And we start off with a KB5 and a T44 Mod 1. This vehicle was great. In 2016 uh, now it's not 30 euros for these two honestly if you didn't buy the kb5 in the bundle with the t77 there's no point in buying it now especially with the t54 mod 1 which is a uh, there then unbreakable power the goose and the tankenstein tankenstein is a meme vehicle can perform quite well has two different guns as well doesn't even have a crew inside which means that there is no crew to be hurt an interesting feature. I mean, it's a, it's a gimmick, but hey, it works. So, there's that. The M6, it's large. It suffers pretty much from the same problem as the Amex M454, and that the front armor is quite good, except for this strip on the turret. The sides and rear are non-existent, which means it's too large for its own good, and I would recommend other vehicles over it, like a T-482, like a T-77, like even a T-34 at this point. The object is 52 30 euros. That is pretty decent. I mean, you only get one vehicle here and you get two vehicles here. So how is that any better? Well, because this vehicle is damn good. Unfortunately, the times fives are locked to the vehicle, which is not that great. you got a, a lot of credit boosters in here. Fluff like a camouflage and an avatar that just are there to increase the price of the bundle without adding any value. Uh, but overall, the 752, if you really want it, pretty much is the top of the tier nines and one of the very few tier nines that is actually worth any money in terms of the collectors so you could go for it if you want to if you want to collect it um for that now then uh yeah we have the 74a here which kind of also makes the uh st draw kind of pointless because you can just buy the object here and is 
sort of very similar in terms of vehicle, but again, I wouldn't recommend these two together. 9,000 gold for two tier sevens. Do you like being ripped off? Well, this is for you. But, um, yeah, do, do you also like suggesting that you want to say the N-word while being a complete clown? Well, I'm sadistic. And obviously here's the same bundle, but for gold, which means that you could buy the 274A for 7.5k. It could be better at 6.5k, to be honest. But it's fine. Like, if you really want the thing, if you already know that you want it, get it. But I'm not going to recommend vehicles like this. Not in any circumstance, essentially, unless... You're the guy that also wants the M4A1 that is a good player that wants a challenge to extract some fun out of the game with. But generally, don't recommend something like this. And here is the Dangerous Duo with the 112-2, which is has some similarity to the K2. So if you have the vehicle already, congratulations, you don't need the other one. If you get the K2 for free, there isn't really any point getting this one because the difference between them is not significant enough to warrant having both unless you're a tank collector that wants all of the vehicles. But again, this could be a great bundle at 10k, 2000 over the top. These times fives, however, are unlocked, which adds some extra value to it, in my opinion. So you might be able to justify it that way. If you're a person deep into your Blitz career and you want two vehicles that are good for grind credits, that are good to challenge yourself with that just work and you also want to grind a new tech tree you maybe you want to grind the new rhinoceronte if you haven't already this could be a quite useful deal to actually obtain but for a beginner nah there is no real vehicle in here that is both good and affordable if you are a beginner player to the game so stay away from them and enjoy your free strv 81k hopefully if you got that vehicle and then uh, don't forget to get your free crates because there's 14 cooldown boosters that always can be quite useful and then um, as always ignore all of this down there because that's gambling and that's not cool let's have a look at the k2 or should i say the wz1122 slash 22 because it's kind of another version of the classic soviet style heavy tank with terrible accuracy terrible dpm high alpha damage very good armor decently low mobility so that's about what you get here and unfortunately the stv one was a bit out there for himself and uh there's the stg which somehow can pen me which means the armor is not invincible especially because the front is a pike nose as you can see like yet yeah, kind of have the worst of both worlds here you have like the pike on the side and then the flat plate in the middle which means that if you turn the vehicle that uh, becomes more vulnerable because this plate will decrease in effectiveness as you turn the tank um, and the middle plate is going to be at its weakest when pointing the vehicle straight on so the armor configuration of this thing uh, while quite thick in terms of its angling is pretty badly designed and the, well, I mean, then again, pretty badly designed is what you can say about about 95% of Soviet vehicles, but that's a different story. So now let's um, try to get out of here, try to get away, and now even though this is a heavy tank, the worst thing that you can do is to get yourself into the enemy's line of fire and then stay there. So I'm just going to try to get out. Obviously, I'm going to lose all my hit points here, but losing all my hit points is better than staying there and losing my entire tank. Now I'm probably going to die to the SU here, or not, he's going to screw it. Now I'm going to kill him. I'm going to get probably pushed, not quite yet, by the enemy K2, who is going to get wrecked there. So I'm going to now try to go up here, refocus onto the smasher, that I can uh, remove myself from the sphere of influence from these guys. Um, obviously now I'm going to put that AMX M4 into harm's way a bit, and now I'm going to wait for the smasher, take out the smasher, and I'm going to turn around... And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait, hopefully, um, for the... Well, I can't shoot the Skoda from up here because he's going to be low enough so I can't um, take a shot on him. Uh, because I'll, I'll just get a shot into his turret, which I don't want to risk from here. So that's not going to be a possibility. Um, so I'm going to have to abandon that plan. And here's how you get good at the game. Know what's going to happen depending on what you're going to do next, right? If you know, if you go there, you're going to die, then you don't go there, and then you don't have a problem. Obviously, if you combine that knowledge with the fact that you don't care, you're still going to die. Um, but having that knowledge is going to be vital. 
becoming a very good player at Blitz. Like, essentially learn to predict the future of what's going to happen, what might happen. And the more accurate you are at predicting what's going to happen, we see the better you're going to be at doing damage, at repositioning yourself in a way that you're going to win. And I'm going to turn around here. Now, this is a could be a bad move because that means I can't retreat. But given that this game is about a... 80% chance of losing, also with me being low HP and the VK also being very low HP, there isn't much going on and there is no likelihood of anybody attacking me around the other side too quickly. I mean, there is the STG, but he is going to take long enough to get around and the SU-130 is obviously going to focus on the um, 168 first, so it means I will be able to get another shot here um, into the Skoda. I'm going to have to be very careful. I'm going to aim and now I'm going to get pushed around the rear. The SU is going to arrive first, so I'm going to have to try to angle towards the SU-130, but that's not going to work. And I got killed by a guy with a cat girl. So, that's lovely. But, anyway, that's 3.8k damage. Nothing really to add to it at this point. It is a solid vehicle. If you can pick it up, especially for free, like, it is a good tank. So with that said, thank you for watching. See you next one. Bye.